In this Excel video, I will show you how to use the Excel rank function to quickly rank a series of numbers. So here we have a spreadsheet with a list of students and their test scores on a recent test. And you can see that here I've used the max function and the min function to identify the highest score and the lowest score. But what about the second highest, third highest, etc.? Let's figure that out, and we're going to use one of two functions in Excel, either rank or rank.eq. So as you can see, the test score data in this spreadsheet happens to be in a table. This area here is a table. That's okay. But I'll click here on H2, and I'll type in equals rank, and you can see that there are three different rank functions that appear. We're going to want to use either rank or rank.eq. In this case, I'll just use rank, left parenthesis. Now Excel is expecting a number, and in this case, it's the test score number. So I'm gonna click here on G2, and then I'll put in a comma. Next, Excel wants to know, okay, so this number, what is its ranking as compared to what other numbers? So I'm just gonna select all of column G by clicking on the letter G, and then I could end the formula there with the right parenthesis. I'll go ahead and tap enter on the keyboard, and you can see what happened. It calculated the ranking, and not just for Albert. It actually calculated all the way down the table. Now the reason it did that is because my data was in a table. Let's try the same thing again, but this time with a simple range. This is a range of data. Let's try it again. I'll just click on H2 equals rank, left parenthesis. It's looking for a number. It's this number, comma, and I'm comparing this number to what range of numbers? Well, all of column G. So I click on G to select the entire column. Now you may notice it looks a little different here, the formula does. And the reason for that is because I'm working in a range this time, a range of data, not an official table. Now I mentioned that that's all you have to do. At this point, I could put in the right parenthesis, tap enter and be done. But there is actually one more step that you may want to take. If you put another comma in the formula, you'll notice that there's an option for how to rank the data. Do you want to descend? In other words, the highest test score would be number one, and it would go down from there to the lowest number, to the lowest test score. Or do you want to ascend? Do you want the highest test score to have the higher number in the rank? I'm going to put in descending, right parenthesis, tap enter, and I get the same result. You can see back here in my table, Albert got a rank of nine, and in the range, he also got a rank of nine. Now, because I'm not working in a table, in order to apply this same formula all the way down the spreadsheet, I just need to double click on the autofill handle as long as I have H2 selected. I'll just double click on that, and the formula is applied all the way down the spreadsheet. So now I'm gonna click on H2 and I'm gonna go up here to the formula bar. This is a great bar here in Excel. It makes it easier to edit your documents. And I'll just switch that zero to a one, tap enter, and now the ranking will be ascending. Now I need to be sure and double click on the autofill handle again to update the numbers. Otherwise the only rank that would have changed would have been H2. So now you can see that the worst score is listed as rank number one. And so that's the difference between ascending and descending. I just hit undo a couple of times to go back to descending order. Now I'm gonna switch back here to the spreadsheet that has a table, just to point out that yes, the highest score is ranked number one. This second highest score of 99 has the second rank and third and so on. So this worked great, but notice that some of the students got the exact same score. Griselda and Albert both got 84. So how does Excel handle that with the rank function? If you look closely, they're both ranked as the ninth highest score. But as you look in the rest of the table, you won't find a 10th ranked score. There is no 10. It just skips 10, and it actually skips 11 as well. Why? Because there's a third person who also got 84 and then it resumes with 12, 13, and so on. So that's important to recognize that if you have ties in your rankings, there will be certain numbers that will be skipped. Now there's one more important thing for you to understand. If you remember, I talked about how there are two different Excel rank functions that you can use in this case. The one that we used just a minute ago was rank, so equals rank. But if you'll notice, there is a little warning next to the rank function. Sometime in the future, Excel is likely to remove the rank function from Excel. So you may want to get used to using, instead of rank, rank.eq. 
So I'll just type in rank.eq, left parenthesis, what's my number? It's this number here, comma. What am I comparing that number to? All of the other numbers in column G, comma. Do I want the rankings to be descending or ascending? And of course, I could have just not put the comma in. I could have just hit enter. But I'll go with the default, which is zero, descending, right parenthesis, tap enter on the keyboard. And so the results of the formula using the rank.eq function, the results are identical to when I used simply the rank function. So the results are the same, but it is important that you know that eventually that rank function will disappear out of Excel. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, consider clicking the thanks button below the video. Or you could support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch, and you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of Patreon, I want to give a quick shout out to my $5 Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for all you do to support the channel.